The opioid epidemic took more than 33,000 lives in 2015 alone. Chip Reed takes us tonight to one especially hard hit part of the country. Sasha and Kane Wyatt are members of the Cherokee Nation in Northeast Oklahoma. They adopted Luke when he was just eight days old. His birth mother was addicted to opioids and so was he. I remember holding him and just crying. I'll try not to cry right now. It's just so hard to see him go through something like that. And this was, this was every night. Oklahoma has one of the most severe opioid problems in the nation, and it's especially bad here in the 14 counties that make up the Cherokee Nation. It's devastating to our people. Todd Hembry is the Cherokee Nation's attorney general. Earlier this year, he sued America's three largest pharmacies and the three largest prescription drug distributors. They know what they're doing is wrong and they need to be held accountable. The complaint accuses the companies of regularly fulfilling suspicious orders and ignoring red flags, which allowed massive amounts of opioid pills to be diverted from legitimate channels of distribution into the illicit black market. The lawsuit asks for billions in damages. My goal is to change the behavior of these corporations. And the way you do that is you hit them in the pocketbook. They begin to have withdrawal symptoms. Nikki baker Limore, executive director of Cherokee Nation Child Welfare, says the recent increase of opioid-addicted babies is staggering. I can get emotional talking about it, but when you hear a baby give you a shrill and you can't do a thing about it, whether you swaddle them, you pat them, you love on them, it's heartbreaking. There are so many addicted babies that there are not enough foster and adoptive homes here to take them all in. So two thirds of those Cherokee babies are being placed in non-Cherokee homes. The children are our future. Without our future, we can't go on. The companies willing to talk about pending litigation told us they believe the lawsuit's claims are without merit, and they say they are dedicated to working together with the government to combat the illegal diversion of drugs. Limor says drug users do share the blame for the crisis, but what the Cherokee Nation really needs is for the flood of drugs to stop. It's like a tornado that never ends. It's moved into our area, it is destroying our community, and until someone stops that from happening, um, the devastation continues. Chip Reed, CBS News, Tahlequah, Oklahoma.